Thank you, Vic Rocks. And, um... <laughs> is a fantastic program and uh, has enabled uh, lots of wonderful artists to thrive in our community. And uh, over the last few years, since 2007, $2.2 million has been provided in grants to around 270 uh, individuals and groups. So that's a lot of energy that's been uh, driven back into the rock scene. Victoria Rocks is a fantastic program. There's been more than 270 artists that have been the beneficiaries of this, artists and groups, um, since it was first uh, introduced in 2007. And as a government, we're keen to continue with this type of very practical, tangible support for contemporary music here. I guess one of the things about creativity and about music is the, uh, the wonderful benefits that it brings to, to self as a form of expression and just sort of achievement and accomplishment and enjoyment. And so there's that side of it. But I guess the other side of today is really about it's about what I like to think about as the creative economy. And we've... I guess taken a view here in Victoria that we want to build Melbourne as the sort of creative capital of Australia. And so whether you're talking about music or the arts or the Wheeler Centre for, for reading and books and ideas, um, whether you're talking about what we're doing in science and technology, whether you're talking about what we're doing in, with our State of Design Festival, um, all of that is about trying to build Melbourne and Victoria as a creative hub. And we're doing that because it's a good thing to do, but it's also where advanced economies are going around the world. There are more and more jobs that are, that are based, particularly around, uh, about, around intellect, around creativity. And so we've tried to create an environment for that. So we're announcing today $500,000. <laughs>